This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Almost the last day of uh, March, trading day, that is. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're looking at the Dow on this Thursday, the 30th of March, 10 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 124 at 32,844. It's solid legs. See in the daily getting close to the 200 period moving average. That should be resistance just about 10, 15, 20 points away from here. Looking at the S&P, this is going to be very interesting. This is actually started a leg D, but it's finally nicely above the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. That becomes a propellant zone, making the 3960s in the S&P very good support in the shorter term. Um, the weekly chart is starting to improve because of this. The day is young, half an hour into the session. What are we talking about? We're talking about an initial spike to the upside. How it lasts is going to be very important. Looking at the QQQ, the NDX 100, started the leg C to the upside. It's starting to break out into new territory. That's going to be very important at 315.70, up $3 right now. So far, it's making the whole area of 302 to um, 299. Very strong support. IWM. IWM has been lagging lately. Today it's up $1.42 at $176.85. Still in the lower range just now. This is going to be very interesting because <clears throat> gold is not backing away. It's holding very steady. I'm going to draw this in here as a rectangle formation. I mean, looking at it, making it very simple. The Dow's down, uh, the gold is down $1.50 at 1983. If gold starts to trade under 1950, we will see some kind of a consolidation. It could actually stay in this range for a little longer. Why? Because look at the dollar. Dollar is just not showing much strength at all. In fact, showing weakness. Down 52 ticks at 102.14. And that really is helping at least the reflexive action of counterpoint move in gold going up and dollars going down. Bonds. Uh, bonds at this particular point are still quite weak. They're down 430 seconds at 129, 22, 30 seconds. So yields are actually going up a little bit. And crude oil. Crude oil right now is um, about up 29 cents to 17.24. Stalling over here. I'll be back with the Tiger Technicians Hour and check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few moments. <laughs>